guys. So I came down here to uh, one of the dams by my house. The water had been shut off, so the water level is really low. And I'm noticing the fish are concentrating here, trying to find deeper water. But that makes them a perfect target for for catching bait fish. So there should be a lot of carp and shad and stuff in these areas right here behind me. So we're gonna throw a net and see if we catch anything. Yeah, if you look closely, you can see the see the little ripples where the fish are swimming. I don't know if you can see that right there. There's one swimming upstream right there. Yeah, you can see all the fish in my first throw that I caught right here. These guys make great bait. something you don't see every day some baby flatheads <laughs> look at these little bitty guys little bitty flatheads wow that's pretty cool don't you think we'll put these guys back Little channel cats too. To put those guys back. But what we're interested in are, are the carp and the shad. Nice little shad. And a couple more baby flatheads. You guys ever seen such a small flathead before? Got 
little that is. <laughs> Go grow up, buddy. We'll catch you in a few years. Look at this, guys. You can see the fish are trying to go upstream right here. See those carp? Look at them. They're trying to get up the floodgate. See that? They know this place is going to dry out, so they're trying to get to deeper water. All right, let's try throwing it over there where all these fish are at. of this shad that just came out of there. Holy smokes, he's going to make great cut bait. Now that's what I'm looking for. Look at the size of those guys. Those are good size shad. I'll be using those for bait. show you guys this fish really quick it's native to New Mexico I forget what it's called but they're very beautiful fish they have a blue tint on top and that little red tail let's see if we can get a better view can you see that guy right there See him? Yeah. Yeah, I forget what these are called. Really beautiful fish. I'll throw him back. Those little channel cats are the ones that hold up the, the show here. They, they get stuck in your net with them little fins. Alright, let's throw it again.
guys. I just got four more baby flatheads. Hold on. Here he is. Look how tiny these guys are. You know, in that video I posted about the New Mexico Outdoor Expo, the guy was saying that the numbers for flatheads are decreasing here in New Mexico, but I've been catching them all over the place. And here you can see, obviously, they're spawning. I'm catching tons of these little fingerlings, I guess is what you call them. So I don't know. I don't know if that's correct or not. There are lots of flatheads out here. Yeah, I'd really like to see some more of those shad. Let's see if we can get some. I did say I wanted shad, but I was talking about the bigger ones. Let's try again. There he is, that's what I wanted. There I got it. Perfect catfish bait. These guys work great. So hang on to those. Look at that guy over there. See if you can see him up there. See that big guy over there? Look at him. He's just hanging out, trying to figure out what to do next. He's just sitting there. <laughs> His buddy went and knocked him down. <laughs> I'm looking at this little spot right here. Let's see if there's anything right here.
Just a big snag, huh? All right, guys, so I pretty much caught what I can catch. I think I've spooked them out of this spot, so I might come back another day and try it again, but if you're in an area where they shut off the water, look for the deep spots. Dams are great. The fish will be holding there, trying to find deeper water. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.